Next question, the member for London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, Sally Anastasiadis and her family have been a mainstay of London's food and hospitality industry for 35 years. They operate three local businesses, including Mustang Sally's, just down the road from my constituency office. In April, Sally's landlord reluctantly agreed to enroll in the commercial rent relief program. Earlier this month, however, Sally was told that full rent would be due for July, August, and September because the landlord had unilaterally decided to withdraw from SECRA. Speaker Sally invested in PPE and was able to keep 20 staff on the payroll because she believed that rent relief would continue. She now feels like she has been tricked. Instead of relying on the goodwill of landlords, will the Premier implement a standalone emergency commercial rent subsidy to help struggling businesses like Mustang Sally's Question. make it through the pandemic? The parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Finance. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And certainly we recognize the difficulty of uh, small businesses in this province, including Mustang Sally's and those in Willowdale and in, in every corner of Ontario, Mr. Speaker. This has been a challenging time. As we know, running a small business is hard even at the best of times, let alone difficult times such as a pandemic. And that's why, Mr. Speaker, this government has reacted by providing $241 million to support the commercial rent relief program. And we continue to collaborate with Minister Freeland and try Order. and work to improve the program, Mr. Speaker. But as the member opposite will recognize, this is a federally administered program, so we need to continue to work our partner, with our partners at the CMHC to advocate to make sure that we do fill those gaps. And our heart goes out to Sally in these difficult times. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Supplementary question. Speaker, many London businesses did not get any commercial rent relief at all, like Jean Coles of Sport Clips, because their landlords refused to participate in the program. Some landlords wanted to enroll, but were not eligible. Speaker, fixed overheads and soaring insurance costs, coupled with a steep decline in revenues, is putting many well-established businesses at risk. Some have permanently closed, like the Four Seasons restaurant, after more than 25 years in London West. As Patios close and COVID case counts rapidly rise. London restaurant owners like Jess Jay-Z Spolstra of Kraft Pharmacy fear they won't survive the winter without additional government support. Speaker, why is this government sitting on the $6.7 billion that has been allocated to help with the pandemic instead of using that funding to save jobs and keep small and medium-sized businesses afloat? Response, the Parliamentary Assistant to Finance. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And certainly, as this pandemic has progressed, our government has recognized the need to bolster our supports for small businesses. And that's why we announced an increase to the $17 billion in support to $30 billion in August, Mr. Speaker. And we recognize that these are incredibly challenging times. There have been, however, 54,482 tenants that have participated in the program, Mr. Speaker. That's nearly 545,000 employees that have been assisted by the commercial rent relief program, Mr. Speaker. And we call on all landlords, wherever you are eligible, to participate in that program, Mr. Speaker, because we are all in this together. Speaker, I come from a background of small business, and I understand how difficult uh, small businesses can be. And certainly, Mr. Speaker, we must continue to work together and advocate and collaborate with the federal government, Mr. Speaker. If only we had that level of collaboration from the members opposite, imagine what we could accomplish in this house. 